यो चाहिँ मेरो डेली रिडिङ प्र्याक्टिस प्लान हो यो चाहिँ मैले चाहिँ यो डेली चाहिँ यो पढ्ने विचार गरेको छु पढ्ने निर्णय गरेको छु आजबाट चाहिँ मैले चाहिँ यो रेगुलर चाहिँ म केही मिनेट चाहिँ म पढ्ने छु या मसँग चाहिँ एउटा बुक छ 021 भनेर रहेको छ यो पीटर थिल भनेर रहेको छ नि र विथ ब्लेक मास्टर्स भनेर रहेको छ एउटा बुक यो म पढ्ने छु पहिले सुरुमा चाहिँ यो टपिकहरु चाहिँ म यहाँ निर पढ्ने छु 021 भनेर रहेको छ यहाँ निर 14 वटा टपिकहरु रहेको छ कन्टेन्ट भनौँ यो चाहिँ the challenge of the future party like its 1999 all happy companies are different the ideology of competition last mover advantage you are not a lottery ticket follow the money secrets foundations the mechanics of mafia if you build it will they come man and machine seeing green the founders paradox भनेर 14 वटा चाहिँ नि र टपिक रहेको छ फर्स्ट मा चाहिँ यो प्रीफेस भनेर रहेको छ 0 टु 1 म यसलाई पढेर पढ्छु म एभ्री मोमेन्ट इन बिजनेस ह्यापेन्स ओन्ली वन्स द नेक्स्ट बिल गेट्स विल नॉट बिल्ड एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम द नेक्स्ट लारी पेज और Sergi Brin won't make a search engine and the next Mark Zuckerberg won't create a social network if you are copying these guys you aren't learning from them of course it's easier to copy a model than than to make something new doing what we already know how to do takes the world from one to n adding more of something familiar but every time we create something new we go from 0 to 1 the act of creation is singular as is the moment of creation and the result is something fresh and strange unless the universe unless the invest unless they invest in the difficult task of creating new things companies will fail in the future of future no matter how big their profits remain today what happens when we have gained everything to be had from fine tuning the old lines of business that we have inherited unlikely as it sounds the answer threatens to be far worse than the crisis of 2008 today's best practices lead to dead ends the best paths are new and untried in a world of gigantic administrative bureaucracies both public and private searching for a new path might seem like hoping for a miracle actually if american business is going to success we have going to need hundreds or even thousands of miracles this would be depre depressing but for one crucial fact humans are distinguished from other species by our ability to work miracles we call these miracles technology technology is miraculous because it allows us to do more with less rasi r t c h e t i n g ratcheting up our fundamental capabilities to a higher level other animals are instinctively driven to build things like dams or honeycombs but we are the only ones that can invent new things and better ways of making them humans don't decide what do what to build by making choice from some cosmic catalog of options given in advance instead by creating new technologies we rewrite the the plan of the world 
these are the kind of elementary thrust thrust uh, truths we teach to second graders but they are easy to forget in a world where we, where so much of what we do is repeat repeat what has been done before zero to one is about how to build companies that create new things it draws on everything i have learned directly as a co-founder of paypal and plantire and then a investor in hundreds of startups including facebook and spacex but while i have noticed many patterns and i relate them here this book be offers no formula for success the paradox of teaching entrepreneurship is that such a formula necessarily cannot exist because every innovation is new and unique no authority can prescribe in concrete terms how to be innovative indeed the single most powerful pattern i have noticed is that successful people find value in expected unexpected place places and they do this by thinking about business from first principles instead of formulas this book stems from a course about startups that i taught at stanford in 2012 college students can be can become extremely skilled as a few specialist specialities but many many never learn what to do with those skills in the wider world my primary goal in teaching the class was to help my students see beyond the tracks laid down by academic specialities to the broader future that is theirs to create one of those students blake masters took detailed class notes which circulated face beyond the campus and in zero to one i have worked with him to revise the notes for a wider audience there is no reason why the future should happen only at stanford or in college or in silicon valley i would say preface saying uh you say तीन पाना को यू प्रिपेस राय का सा अब उसी फर्स्ट मैच यानी जो द चैलेंजेस ऑफ़ द फ्यूचर पाने रह राय का सा मौसलाई अपॉर्न आप देख सो पढ़ते पढ़ते कर दें जान धैर्य से यू हर दैर्य दें आँखाने यू होनी रहे सा अंदेश वाची त्यो वर्ल्ड लाई से और उरी कर और उन्हें तारीखाले से तला से प तीस तो होने रहा सा और एक अंदर नगर धारिता अब दो तीन चार इम्पीस्टेज तार बाहर नहीं केवल नहीं फॉर्म आपर्दन है तारा बनी यो रेकर्ड करने क्रम में चाहिए तीस तो होने रहा सा तारा आ तब ऐसे माइंड नगर नला मतलब यो बिना एडिट करी हुई ना करी करना यो चाहिए मतलब पॉड एक्शन द चैलेंजेस ऑफ द very few people agree with you on this question sounds easy because it's straightforward actually it's very hard to answer it's intellectually difficult because the knowledge that everyone is taught in school is by definition agreed upon and it's psychologically difficult because anyone trying to answer must say something she knows to be unpopular brilliant thinking is rare but courage is in even shorter supply than genius most commonly i hear answer like the following our educational system is broken and urgently needs to be fixed america is exceptional there is no god those are bad answers 
द फर्स्ट एंड द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट्स माइट बी ट्रू बट मेनी पीपुल अलरेडी अग्री उथ देम द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट सिम्पली टेक्स वन साइड एंड अ फैमिलियर डिबेट अ गुड एंसर टेक्स द फॉलोइंग फॉर्म मोस्ट पीपुल बिलीव इन एक्स बट द ट्रूथ इज द अपोजिट अफ एक्स आई विल गिव माइ वन एंसर लेटर इन दिस चैप्टर वाट डज दिस कंट्रेरियन क्वेश्चन हैव टू बी to do with the future in the most minimal sense the future is simply the set of all moments yet to come but what makes the future distinctive and important isn't that is it has isn't that it hasn't happened yet but rather than rather that it will be a time when the world looks different from today in this sense if nothing about our society changes for the next 100 years then the future is over 100 years away if things change radically in the next decade then the future is nearly at hand no one can predict the future exactly but we know two things it's going to be different and it must be rooted in today's world most answers to the contrarian contrarian question are different ways of seeing the present present good answers are as close as we can come to looking into the future 0 to 1 the future of progress bhanera arko topic anera title raheko cha yo 1 1 mai 1 1 number ko title mai When we think about the future we hope for a future of progress that progress can take one of two forms horizontal or extensive extensive progress means cop- copying things that work going from one to n horizontal progress is easy to imagine because we already know what it looks like vertical or intensive progress means doing new things going from 0 to 1 vertical progress is harder to harder to imagine because it requires doing something nobody else has ever done if you take one typewriter and build 100 you have made horizontal progress if you have a typewriter and build a word processor you have made for vertical process यहाँ एट फिगर यहाँ दिखे भर्टिकल योग राइट एंगल भन यो दुटा आर दिए गए भर्टिकल और इंटेन्सिव प्रोग्रेस डुइंग न्यू थिंग्स ओरिजेन्टल और ओरिजेन्टल और एक्सटेन्सिव प्रोग्रेस कपिंग थिंग्स दैट वर्क यहाँ रह द मैक्रो लेवल द सींगल वर्ड फर होरिजेन्टल प्रोग्रेस इज ग्लोबलाइजेसन taking things that work somewhere and making them work everywhere china is the paradigmatic example of globalization its 20 years plan is to become like the united states is today the chinese have been straightforward straightforwardly copying everything that has worked in the developed world 19th century railroads 20th 20th century air conditioning and even entire cities they might skip a few steps along the way going straight to wireless without installing landlines for instance but they are copying all the same the single word for vertical 0 to 1 progress is technology the rapid progress progress of information technology in recent decades has made silicon valley the capital of technology in general but there is no reason why people should be limited to computers yani ra arko figure raheko cha technology bhanera 0 to 1 ma raheko cha ra globalization bhanera 1 to 
एन बनेर एन नंबर बनेर रहा है कैसा लिमिटेड टू कंप्यूटर्स प्रॉपरली अंडरस्टूड एनी न्यू एंड बेटर वे ऑफ डूइंग थिंग्स इज टेक्नोलॉजी बिकॉज़ ग्लोबलाइजेशन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी आर डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ प्रोग्रेस इट्स पॉसिबल टू हैव बोथ आइदर और नाइदर एट द सेम टाइम फॉर एग्जांपल 1815 टू 1914 वाज अ पीरियड ऑफ बोथ रैपिड टेक्नोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट एंड रैपिड ग्लोबलाइजेशन बिटवीन द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर एंड किसिंजर्स के आई एस एस आई एन जी आर किसिंगर्स ट्रिप टू री ओपन रिलेशन्स विथ चाइना इन नाइन्टीन सेवेन्टी वन देर वाज रैपिड टेक्नोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट बट नट मच ग्लोबलाइजेशन सीन्स नाइन्टीन सेवेन्टी वन वी हेव सीन रैपिड technological development mostly confined to it this is of globalization had made it easy to imagine that the decades ahead will bring more convergence and more sameness even our everyday language suggest we believe in a kind of technological and of end of history the division of the world into the so called developed and developing nations implies that the developed world has already achieved the achievable and that poorer nations just need to catch up but i don't think that's true my one answer to the contrarian question is that most people think the future of world will be defined by globalization but the truth is that technology matters more without technological change if china doubles its energy energy production over the next two decades it will also double it its air pollution if every one of india's hundreds of millions of households were to leave the way americans already do using only today's tools the result would be environmentally catastrophic spreading world ways to create health around the world will result in devastation devastation not riches in a world of scarce resource globalization with our without new technology is on sustainable new technologies has never been an automatic feature of future feature of history our ancestors live in static zero sum so societies where success meant seizing things from others they created new sources of wealth only rarely and in the long run way run they could never create enough to save the average person from extremely had hard life then after 10000 years of fitful advance from primitive agriculture to medieval windmills and 16th century astrolabel astrolabel the modern world suddenly experienced rel- relentless technological progress from the advent of the steam engine in the 1760s 1760 60s 60s all the way up to about 1970 as a result we have inherited a richer society than any previous previous generation would have been able to imagine any any generation accepting our parents and grandparents that is that is in the late 1960s they accepted this progress to continue they look forward they looked forward to a four day work week energy to cheap to meter and vocation vocations vacations on the moon but it didn't happen 
the smartphones that distract us from our surroundings also distract us from the fact that our surroundings are strangely old only caps only computers and communications have improved dramatically since mid century that doesn't mean our parents were wrong to imagine a better future they were only wrong to expect it as something automatic today our challenge is to both imagine and create the new technologies that can make the 21st century more peaceful and prosperous than the 20th or go here second you yes me topic me first topic me yeah right so start start up thinking new technology tends to come from new ventures it starts off from the founding founding father fathers in politics politics to the royal society in science to fair child semiconductors traitors uh, traitors eight in business small groups of people bound together by a sense of mission have changed the world for the better the easiest explanation for this is negative it's hard to develop new things in big organizations and it's even harder to do it it by yourself bureaucratic hierarchies move slowly and entrenched inter interests sigh away from risk in the most days days functional organizations signaling that work is being done become becomes a better strategy for a career advancement than actually doing work if this describes your company you should quite now at the other extreme a long a, a long genius might create a classic work of art or literature but he could never create an entire industry startups operate operate on the principles that you need to work with other people to get stuff done but you also need to stay small enough so that you actually can positively defined a startup is the largest group of people you can convince of a plan to build a different future a new company's most important strength is new thinking even more important than nimble nimbleness small size effort space to think this book is about the questions you must ask and answer to success succeed in the business of doing new things what follows what follows is not a manual or record of knowledge but an exercise in thinking because that is what a startup has to do questions questions received ideas and